I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and in this video I'm going to show you all how I vibe out. In other words, I'm showing you how I like to unwind and take care of my mental health. Sometimes things get really hectic and we just need to chill on our own, have some me time and just vibe out. So here are the things that I like to do. So I'm really big on aromatherapy, so let's start there. Here's Nag Champa. The fragrance is of Indian origin, and to me it has a very earthy, woodsy, pleasant scent. I burn a lot of incense, as you can see, I need to clean this up. <laughs> and this incense holder, I named her Sheila. She's so lovely and vain, always playing in her hair. <laughs> I got her from Namaste Bookstore in the city. And that means Manhattan, by the way, if you're not from the boroughs. This is my favorite candle. The spearmint and eucalyptus scent is by far the best candle scent I've ever smelled. Big words, right? <laughs> Bath and Body Works uses the scent for a lotion and a body wash as well. I use those sometimes, but the candle is definitely my favorite. This coconut sandalwood scent is pleasant. It's not as strong or relaxing as the spearmint and eucalyptus one, but I love coconut scents and I love sandalwood, so I appreciate this candle a lot. Here is a lit Brooklyn candle. A friend of mine runs this company and I'll have her information below. This scent is called 1988 and it has a delicious almondy smell. It just makes your mouth water. Here is an Archer diffuser. I'll have a link below so you can check them out definitely. But I drop a few different essential oils in the mix and the scent will fill the room beautifully. You can change the light settings and set the timer, mix and match whatever essential oils you want to smell and you smell it immediately. Headspace is an app for guided meditation and mindfulness. It's perfect for beginners. If you're interested in hearing more about my meditation routines, leave me a comment below, okay? This app helps you understand the use of meditation and an easy way to meditate. One thing I learned is that when I'm feeling really anxious and I can actually feel it in my body, maybe I'm like feeling jittery, exercise is one of the best medicines. I, for one, am not the most active person. You know, I pretty much work at a desk in my home, so I don't get too active. You know, I'm not like a gym rat or anything like that at all. I'm trying to exercise more often though. As I'm getting a little older, I've noticed changes in my body. I want to exercise more to make sure everything stays right and how I like it. So one thing that helps for me is to keep my yoga mat laid out in my room. So I constantly see it. So I, I'm i always remembering, okay, Keisha, go ahead and do some abs. Keisha, you know what? Um, yeah, do a little bit of yoga. And... It's really, really, really relaxing. Like, that's been one of my go-to stress reliefs. You know what I mean? If I put on some music, you know, I may listen to a few songs and then I finish my workout. And I feel like that's not really enough, at least for not for my standard. So I like to put on podcasts instead of music. So I can listen to the whole podcast throughout my workout. So I like to listen to The Friend Zone with Hey Friend Hey, Dustin and Asante. I love The Friend Zone. And I also listen to The Read with Kid Fury and Crystal. Those podcasts will, will be like about an hour and a half to two hours. So that way I feel like I'm really getting a workout. And the whole time I'm not, you know, working up a sweat. Sometimes I'm just stretching. Sometimes I'm doing abs, sometimes I'm doing legs, arms. Exercise really helps to, you know, cool your mind out, help you chill and vibe out. When I'm relaxing, sometimes I just want to sip on something delicious and listen to music. I'm not sure what you call this genre of music, but I call it OD Vibes. Here's a quick little playlist that I adore. Thank you. 
What do you vibe out to? Leave me a comment below. Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.